Hi, welcome to the Jackie Yo Show, where I help you get comfortable in the kitchen. Now, I tell you, I love ordering fried rice from my favorite Chinese restaurant. But what I love even more is making my own fried rice. And today, I'm going to show you how to make an easy fried rice in just 10 minutes. Now, with the right preparation skills and the organization, you can cut your cooking time in 10 minutes. So let's get started. So here is what we'll need for today's recipe. Three green onions chopped, two to four tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one fourth teaspoon of white pepper, two teaspoons of garlic salt, and two teaspoons of sugar. Three eggs, barbecue pork, 14 ounces of pre-cooked bag of frozen vegetables, three cups of white long grain rice. Okay, now we have here our wok on medium high heat. It is uh, ready to go. It's hot, it's got my cooking oil already coated in the wok. So the first thing we're going to do is scramble the egg and uh, we're gonna cook it a little bit, but not all the way through, okay? Here I go. I'm scrambling my three eggs like so. A little bit and we were here. Oh, that is sizzling fast. So we don't want the egg to be cooked really fast all the way because we're going to throw it in at the end. So I'm going to just stir it a little bit and have my bowl on the side here to get my egg. It's, it's more than enough ready to go into the bowl here. All right, this will be set aside for later use. All right, now I'm going to add just a little bit more cooking oil, not too much, and coat the wok lightly. And I have my um, ready prepared meat here. In this case, I bought some Chinese barbecue pork from Chinatown. You can use anything. You can use um, pre-cooked ham, chicken, beef, whatever, as long as it's pre-cooked so, you know, your fried rice can be cooked faster. Okay, here we go. And if you're a vegetarian, leave the meat out. Simple as that. Here we go. Sizzle, sizzle. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. I'm just warming up the barbecue pork. This is cooked. So I'm just warming it up. And as I do that, I'm going to add my pre, well, pre-cooked pre veg, frozen vegetable. It's like those 14 ounce bag of frozen grocery vegetables you get every day at the grocery store. Easy, right? And it's got your vegetable in your diet so you don't say, you didn't say you didn't eat your vegetables with this dish. Because you did. You have green beans and you have corn and carrots. So we're making ourselves a very hearty and healthy fried rice. So I'm stirring it around. Now, I'm gonna make a little well. And bring over the star of our show. Da -da 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 -da. The rice is already boiled and cooked. It's cleaned and so it's ready to go into the wok. Now if you didn't cook your rice, this won't take 10 minutes. It's gonna take about what, 35 minutes. So make sure this rice is cooked and ready to go. And I'm combining, as you can see, the rice with my ingredients there. Now the best rice to use for fried rice is day-old rice. Now you can go ahead and make yourself fresh rice for that day if you feel like making fried rice. That's perfectly fine too. And that's what I did today. I am going to start seasoning the rice. Okay, here we go. The first thing I like to do is 
I'll add a little pinch of kosher salt. I like to adjust my seasonings as I taste and as I cook. I don't put everything in right away because I might want less or something more or something. That's the beauty of cooking. You can adjust how you want something to taste. I'm going to add in all the light soy sauce. I'm probably going to need more than this. And I'm going to have some dark soy sauce in here. All of it. I'm going to use more. And I love garlic sauce in my fried rice. It just adds another kick of flavor. It's a fast way to make the fried rice garlicky and salty, along with the soy sauce and the dark soy sauce and some other kosher sauce. Salt makes everything, enhances all the dishes to be flavorful. And I am stirring and combining. Now as I look at my rice, I see that I don't like it at the color or at the flavor. Doesn't look, I smell the salt, but it's, I still think I'm going to need it yet more soy sauce. I'm going to add more light soy sauce as well as dark soy sauce. Here's my light soy sauce. I'm going to do like two squirts. My dark soy sauce for color. One squirt and a half. And I'm just gonna combine again. Before I add any more ingredients to the rice, I'm going to taste the rice. Because at this point, I don't know what I wanna do. You know what I need? I need to add a little sugar. I like to add sugar. It's my substitute sometimes for you. Instead of using MSG, you can add a little sugar to have a pop of flavor in your stir fry, in this case, your fried rice. I'm gonna add another pinch of soy sauce because I think it could use it. Stirring again. Now, I'm going to taste it one last time to see if it's where I want it to be. Mmm, it's good. Now, we can add in the scrambled egg we did earlier. It's a little runny, but that's because the, the rest of the rice will, will finish cooking the egg. And that's why we don't want to overcook our egg in the first in the first time we cooked it. No one likes an overcooked egg, right? So now that we combined the egg together with the rice, we are ready for our garnish. The three chopped scallions, or green onions, or whatever you want to call it. Your choice. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my life. All right. And here we go. We have our fried rice done in 10 minutes. We'll turn off the heat and now we're ready to plate. Now we have our delectable scrumptious fried rice. Colorful, flavorful, and we made it at home. See, you don't always have to order your Chinese food or your Asian cuisine at some restaurant. You can make it at home. Face it, if we always ordered our favorite Asian cuisine from a restaurant, we're gonna learn to hate our thighs. And we don't wanna do that, right? So, thank you so much for hanging out with me and coming into my kitchen. And I hope I helped you to feel a little more comfortable in the kitchen today. Tune in to me next time as I do another video. Please subscribe to my blog, thejackieyoshow.com. Until next time, get comfortable, practice in the kitchen.